my head's in an elephant's ass, right? Like this elephant's asshole is is swallowing my head whole. What is up, everyone out there at YouTube? It is Tim.TV here, and today I am bringing you guys some more Would You Rather. Now, I know I haven't played this in a long time, and I'm super excited to be bringing it back. Before we hop into this, if you guys would like to see more Would You Rather, please make sure to tell me down in the comment section below, and make sure to leave a like. And also, if you're new, please subscribe. It really does help me out. But I just want to say one thing really quick while I have your time. I'm running a Teespring campaign until the end of the holidays. If you guys want to go check it out, a link will be down below. I don't want to advertise this too heavily i don't like trying to shove things down people's throats but i just want you guys to know that whenever i do release merch or whenever i release a shirt i want it to be something that people would actually be interested in purchasing and wearing and the designs are always going to be cool and i want to try and do something really unique when i launch merch so i really hope you guys are on the same page and without further ado let's just hop into would you rather because i know that's what you guys came here to see so let's get started so would i rather eat my weight in pig feet or dive into a pool of horseradish and worms. Okay, this is an easy one for me. I would never eat my weight in pig feet, first of all. I, I don't even know if I could eat a singular pig foot without vomiting. Um, I'm not a fan of most meat in general. I actually have a very weird food palate. I barely eat anything. I'm, I'm an incredibly picky eater. I would definitely rather dive into the pool of horseradish and worms because don't get me wrong, that would be disgusting, but fuck, I would have to eat a shit ton of pig feet to eat my weight in pig's feet. Like, holy f Jesus, that wouldn't be good. I'd probably die, honestly. Would I rather sleep in a tanning bed for a month or sleep in a small suitcase for a month? Oh my god. See, I I'm thinking this is kind of fucked. Like, if I sleep in a tanning bed for a month, I am 100% getting skin cancer. And that's just, I don't want that. Like, that is, that is not something I'm trying to get at this time in my life. But if I had to sleep in a small suitcase for a month, I would actually have to fit in the suitcase. And would that be more painful than actually sleeping in the tanning bed for a month and dealing with the consequences of that on your skin like would i have to go through an extensive recovery period but at least i, I wouldn't be contorted into a small box like shape i i don't know this is terrible i think i am gonna have to go with the tanning bed whether i want to or not oh shit like i mean if I have to sleep in the small suitcase, that's gonna fuck up my bone structure. Like, that's terrible. I don't know about you guys, but, like, if you sleep in the tanning bed for a month, it doesn't say that you have to sleep that long. You can sleep for two hours and then get up. I mean, granted, it's tanning for two hours every day, but I'm pretty sure that most New Jersey soccer moms do that, and they seem to be uh, holding up pretty fine. Uh, would you rather fight a bear or fight a lion? I mean, oh, God, like, I... I don't think I, I want to fight either one of those because both of those would kick my ass. I don't even know if I could fight a person and win. Um, I'm going to go with bear. You know, I feel like a bear is going to be less visceral and maybe because like the bear will just kind of swat me or, or just straight up fucking murder me rather than uh, tear me apart and eat me slowly like I feel like a lion would do or try and be some sort of advanced predator. I mean, I'd try to pet the lion to be fair. I'd, I'd try and treat it like a cat and see if maybe all it wanted was love. Um, but I, I really feel like I'd just end up dying a slow and painful death then. Would you rather eat all of the carpet in your house or eat all of the wood and tiles in your house? Oh my fucking god. All of the wood? Does that mean, like, the wood in the walls and the ceiling? Because, like, this house is made out of wood. A lot of this house is wood. Like, this desk is wood. Like, if I... I can eat my desk. I need this. <laughs> I don't know, I think I would have to go... I feel like I, if it's not counting the wood in the structure of your house, just the actual wood in my home, there's definitely less wood and tiles than carpet. There's tile in the kitchen. Ooh, wait, but then I'd have to eat the bathroom tiles. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna eat the carpet. I'm definitely gonna eat the carpet. God, eating the tiles would be... That'd be bad. I, I mean, but there's a fucking shit ton of carpet here. Like, there's... Oh, my God, there's five carpeted bedrooms... It's like, how much carpet is that? Oh my god, and that doesn't even count the living room or the downstairs living room. Like, holy fucking shit, that's so much carpet. Would you rather be as you are now or have $100 million but have a 5% chance of instant death? Hey, well, you know, guys, I'm going to be real. I feel like I'm going to go with the $100 million, and the reason why 
is a 5% chance is a risk I am willing to take for $100 million. And a lot of people might think, oh shit, that's really greedy. You would, you would throw away your life for $100 million. But think of how much money $100 million is. I would rather risk, literally, if this was an opportunity, I would rather risk my life for the greater good to receive $100 million than just be as I am now. Because if I were to get that money and not die, just think of how much that would be. Think of how much I could contribute back to society with $100 million. That would just be awesome. So I'm gonna go with that one. I could do so much cool shit with $100 million. Like, and that's the thing that sucks is money, the biggest thing out of anything is a lot of people, a lot of people wanna get rich to buy cars. A lot of people wanna get rich to do this, to buy a house, to buy this nice thing, to buy, to buy this thing or the other thing. But what money really does is money opens opportunities. It opens doors. So I feel like that'd be really cool. Would you rather swim in a pool of poop or get your head stuck in an elephant's ass? Oh, fuck, man. Like, oh, Jesus. I, swim in a pool of poop or get my head stuck in an elephant's rear end. Well, I'm thinking right now, if my head's in my head's in an elephant's ass, right? Like, this elephant's asshole is is swallowing my head whole, right? So, I'm, I'm in here. I'm in here, and I'm just in this asshole, and I'm just hanging out. This is a lot worse, in my opinion. If I, if I swim in the pool, shit, it never necessarily specifies that I need to be fully in the pool. Like, it doesn't specify I need to go underwater. Like, I could, uh, I, I could be okay. But if, if I get my head stuck in an elephant's ass, then my head is stuck inside of an elephant's ass. Like, I, you can take a shower, but you can't unput your head in an elephant's ass. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> God, would you rather explode or implode? <laughs> I implode on a near daily basis, so I'm gonna go with implode. If I explode from the end inside out, actually, you know what? That's really fucking painful. Just that's unfortunate. Hey, well, I mean, if you think about it, right? Exploding, you're gonna cause a shit ton of damage everywhere, right? Your organs are gonna go everywhere. You're gonna blow up and cause a shit ton of damage. But if you implode, are you just gonna disappear? Like, are you just gonna Benjamin Button or something? You're just gonna, are you just gonna teleport into a portal in the sky? Are you gonna eat yourself? Like. During a rowdy boxing match, would you rather have a section of your ear bitten off or lose my two front teeth? Oh, fuck. Um, God, I need my teeth. See, the thing is, if I were to lose my two front teeth, that would change a lot about my life. Like, that would change a huge amount, especially with how my career pretty much revolves around me talking and actually speaking and saying words and stuff like that. And if I had two front teeth, that would definitely be a lot harder for me to talk but I mean, if I had a section of my ear bitten off, that'd just be badass, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna get my ear taken off, definitely. I feel like that's a better option for me. Would you rather be able to run 40 miles an hour or own a car? Well, see, the thing is, if you can run 40 miles an hour, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can do that for longer than two seconds. Like, I'm assuming I have the ability to run at 40 miles an hour now, but I can't actually do it, you know what I mean? Like, I see, I would assume that I have the ability to run at 40 miles an hour, but it doesn't mean that I have extended stamina or anything that would actually keep up with that. So I'm just thinking with my current physical shape, if I just ran, and every time I ran, I just ran 40 miles an hour, I wouldn't be able to go that far. <laughs> like, I'm gonna keep the car. If you knew you were going to fail a test, would you rather rip up the exam paper or walk out laughing? I mean, to be fair, I'd probably not do either one of those because one time I actually did know I was going to fail a test and I was in an AP computer science class and I was taking the AP exams and there was an open-ended question and I didn't know what the open-ended question was. It was something and for some reason on the AP exam, you needed to handwrite your code. So I was handwriting out lines of Java when I was like, fuck this. I don't need this bullshit and drew a dick on the open-ended section. Um... Looking back on, on that, I don't know if that was the greatest idea I ever had. I got a one on that exam, but uh, one being the worst score possible, literally. So pretty much that entire class was worthless and I, and I hated it the way it was. And I'm, I'm upset that drawing a dick isn't an option here, but I feel like walking out laughing would definitely be a more reasonable option. And this is the last question and then I'm gonna end this video. Would you rather have to eat tree bark for one meal a day or have to pour cold milk over everything you eat. Oh God, oh Jesus. I would, I would rather have to eat tree bark for one meal a day because that's that's one meal a day of tree bark. Imagine if it's like, okay, it's pizza night, Tim. You ready to eat? And it's like, oh, hold on guys. Let me get my cold milk. 
Let me just pour this milk on this pizza real fast, guys, before I can fucking eat it. Like, why would you- why would you pour cold milk over everything you eat? That sucks! But, with that being said, that's where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned some things about me. If you have any questions or anything, as always, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And I will get back to you if I have the ability to. I never actually say it, but make sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Or if you don't have a Twitter account, I would highly recommend you make one. YouTube is pretty broken. And my Twitter is the best place to know when I'm actually uploading. And I'm always on Twitter, so it's definitely the best place to reach me. So just shoot me any questions or anything. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to end this video. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my Teespring if you want. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, 